I'd like people in 10 years' time to say, what a job Holloway's done with Andy Ambler and John and look at the football they play now and look at the way they pass the ball and look at how many have they got in the England team. Why not? Well, can I say something? Do you mind? <laughs> they asked me if I wanted it from now until the summer because they were almost prepared to do whatever I wanted. Right? And I said, I don't want just that. I want a longer term situation that I can, because my relationships last. And that's what I want. So I think that was, um, I think you liked that, didn't you? Yeah, indeed. No, Tony's just moved in there, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I had a flat in um, Langley Waterside and we, we had to get out and and I think Tony's moved right in. Not sure he's got my old car, but he's certainly not having my woman, I tell you that. <laughs> he's got his own, he's got his own. But I got a phone call from Kenny Jacket asking me to consider meeting Andy and, um, and John Berylson, so... Had a good chat with Ken. Asked him why he left, and he, he talked about being six years here and feeling he'd done his time and and did well with the club. And he think he thought I would be absolutely delighted to meet these two gentlemen and work with them. So, without a shadow of a doubt, I agreed to do it. And I met Andy on a Thursday, and John dug his almost dug himself out of, of America when they had a two foot of snow and. Couldn't get out, so he hired a plane and then couldn't wait to meet me. So um, we had a, a meet up in London, and a, the chat lasted literally about four and a half hours. Didn't seem like two minutes, and um, I was blown away with um, a couple of things really: the, the 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 pride they've got and the passion they've got for the football club, and and ironically how much they felt I was the right man for the job. So not you. Not used to that, really, eh? To be honest. So, what could I do? What could I say? And then, um, went back home and spoke to Kim, and I'm here. And it's been that quick, really. It's absolutely fantastic. The fact that the owner was prepared to fly over, dig himself out of the snow, and make it here to speak to you, that demonstrates to you that you were really wanted here. Totally, yeah. They also told me they, they plan A was me, plan B was me, and plan C was me. So, it's nice to be wanted, isn't it? Um, I think. I'm a bit of a different fella, really, as everybody out there knows, and some people write certain things about me, and some people find me amusing, but I'm a very serious football manager, and, and I want to do a brilliant job for each and every club that I work for, and, and you know, talking to John um, and his dreams for it, and what he wants for it, and I asked him why he wanted to do it, and, you know, because I still can't understand that sometimes, why he's really wealthy men want to want to take over on a football scenario and I thought he was so um, honest and, and forthright with his view and by the time he'd finished he totally convinced me that I should do that as well because he was on about the people the people who work at the club the people who care for the club at first he didn't really know much about them and now you know he feels he wants to protect them and fight for them and look after them and care for them because of um, the club's history, what he wants to do about that, and you know the 40th um, most successful club in English history, that one of the early ones as well, and you know one of the only ones to have four seasons at home, never losing in in all the divisions, and and I believe that's down to the passion of the supporters, and now uh, they care about their club and. For me, it, it, it seems just a fantastic fit, and and none more so than that Ken got six years, and they still wanted him to keep building and keep building, and, and I, I've got to commit to a way of playing. I don't expect the lads to do it this week or next week or the week after, but you know that's what I commit to. My philosophy is of, uh, of a way of playing that I think is modern, and, and John buys into that, Andy buys into that, and you know as I say, even if we... The worst happens and I can't turn it around because I've learnt from when I went to Leicester that I might not be able to stop it, but <coughs> they understand that and I'm going to try and mop up mop up what I can and, and take the thing where I want it to go. And, and you know, I, I don't think I've ever had support like that so that 
the initial thing I want to do is keep us up and then try and get us up. But in reality, I want to do it in a way that I'm proud of, that people will come here and, and people will talk about maybe a slightly different Millwall instead of what their mind lingers back to in the past. Because I'd like to say that we had a problem in society then, which people, a lot of people from different clubs, unfortunately thought they could use football as a vehicle to be violent, you know. So from my point of view, I think that this club has been tarnished and there's lots of other clubs who had that and it went to different countries as well. And now I don't feel we've got that. So, you know, hopefully I can actually add a way of playing that will make people want to spend money on, to grow the crowd, to, to build and be proud of something else about Millwall. But for me, the passion is completely and utterly undoubtedly what keeps me going and that's what reignited me right now I can't wait I can't wait for tomorrow I can't wait for Saturday and you know whatever happens I'm ready got my chin out on and ready to go